Earth has been bombarded by asteroids throughout its history, but we're lucky that no large ones have slammed into the planet lately. There are so many asteroids cruising around our solar system that it's hard to keep track of them. Astronomers keep a careful watch on the skies, hoping to spot potential impactors far enough in advance so that we can do something about it. You might have heard of the massive asteroid known as Apophis before. Apophis, also known as the God of Chaos, is an interesting asteroid. This mountain-sized asteroid might hit Earth in 2068. It is predicted that it would take 48 years for this asteroid to hit Earth. While it was first calculated that the asteroid would just miss our planet by a slim margin, new information has revealed a possibility of Apophis colliding with Earth. This new calculation is largely due to scientists considering the Yurkovsky effect, which essentially means that asteroids can actually speed up in space, based on its chemical composition. Radioactive materials can give the asteroid a slight boost in space which alters its trajectory ever so slightly. It is already known that Apophis is about 300 meters long and made up mostly of solid metal. The asteroid contains nickel and iron. The radar images suggest that it is elongated with the two lobes, making it look something like a peanut. This is the type of asteroid we would like to avoid. In the course of these long 48 years, Apophis will make an extremely close flyby on April 13, 2029, where it will be visible to the naked eye. Apophis was discovered on June 19, 2004, by astronomers at the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona. Since then, astronomers are continuously monitoring the asteroid as it orbits the Sun. Before the discovery, the impact was said to impossible. But the new findings suggest the asteroid has a chance of crashing into Earth on April 12, 2068. So why the asteroid is changing its orbit? Asteroids absorb sunlight as they tumble through the solar system. When the asteroid's body heats up in sunlight, it re-radiates the energy away as heat, which acts as tiny thrusters for the cosmic object. Astronomers said that before the effect happened an impact in 2068 was impossible, the asteroid is drifting away from a purely gravitational orbit by about 170 meters per year, which is enough to keep the 2068 impact scenario in play. Apophis has also been given the title of the third highest threat on NASA's Sentry Risk Table. The table estimates that there is a 1 in 150,000 chance of the asteroid hitting Earth in 48 years. When Apophis was first discovered, experts said there was a 2.7% chance of an Earth impact in 2029, but now data shows it will safely pass within 19,794 miles of Earth. This is the closest approach by an asteroid of this size that scientists have known about in advance. If we want to avoid going the way of the dinosaurs, which were wiped out by a huge asteroid 65 million years ago, then we need to have to deflect a killer space rock someday, fortunately, we know how to do it. We have the capability to protect the Earth from asteroid impacts. We are now able to very slightly and subtly reshape the solar system in order to enhance human survival. Protecting Earth from incoming asteroids will be a huge job. There are thought to be only two ways of deflecting an asteroid. If researchers detect a potentially dangerous space rock in plenty of time, the best option would be to send a robotic probe out to ride along with it. The spacecraft's modest gravity would exert a tug on the asteroid as the two cruises through space together. Over months or years, this gravity tractor method would pull the asteroid into a different orbit. You can get a very precise change in the orbit for the final part of the deflection using a technology of this kind. The second option is a kind of an asteroid strike we could be more aggressive with the asteroid. We could simply slam a robotic probe into the threatening space rock to change its orbit. There's also the possibility of blowing the asteroid with a nuclear weapon. The nuclear option could come into play if the dangerous space rock is too big, but it would likely be a weapon of last resort. For one thing, blasting an asteroid to bits might end up doing more harm than good.